हेलो गाइस आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय चैनल टू डेज क्वेश्चन इज क्लासिफाई ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आल्सो एट द टॉप लेफ्ट कॉर्नर देयर आर सर्टेन आईडीज डू चेक देम आउट सो हियर वी गो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव टू नो इज व्हाट आर ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स ओके व्हाट आर ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स सो बेसिकली these are actually lipids molecules only so glycolipids are also lipid molecules with an attached right with an attached monosaccharide or oligosaccharide chain right mono or oligosaccharide chain so this is what a glycolipid is basic definition okay so now also we know that in animals right what are the functions in they are present in the outer leaflet of the plasma membrane i have discussed plasma membrane in several other videos do check them out they are in the same playlist as this one also yes glycolipids are present in neuronal tissue brain and also they act as receptor for cholera toxin right there is something called uh, gm3 right gm3 ganglioside which acts as receptor for cholera toxin also like we have to know that uh, these are also found in photosynthetic plants right photosynthetic plants or organisms you can see say right? like algae moss etc we'll discuss them later in the next part okay now coming to the main question that is classification of glycolipids okay classification of glyco lipids okay hmm. so basically there are two main groups right one is glycosphingolipid these are found in animals and the second group is galactolipids or sulfolipids okay hmm. and these uh, galactolipids and sulfolipids you can say or sulfolipids are found in photosynthetic organisms like plants and already said mosses and algae right okay but this is not uh, that important to know for us we'll mainly focus on the glycosphingolipids this is majority is present in animals this is second most important membrane phospholipid right this glycosphingolipids are the major in animals several tissues they are found in several tissues now we will have to know the basic structure so the glycosphingolipids has as the name says spingo so spingosine backbone is present right and to the spingosine is attached a fatty acid chain and the last part the third component is a mono or oligosaccharide right so these are the ba- this is the basic structure of glycosphingolipids now something we have to know is th- what is that spingosine right spingosine that is this backbone in blue color and this fatty acid together is known as ceramide i will use this term later in some explanation so i'm telling it here okay so coming to the third part i guess yeah so now here we'll only focus on the glycosphingolipids right and the glycosphingolipids and mainly of three types number 1 is cerebroside the second one is globoside and the third one is gangliosside right okay now let us see what each of them have right what are their properties so cerebroside is basically a ceramide I have explained that before plus a monosaccharide okay so ceramide plus a monosaccharide you can derive that from the structure basic structure that i have shown right that i have shown and this is this can the monosaccharide can be a glucose or galactose so it is galactose cerebroside or glucose cerebroside respectively depending on the monosaccharide unit now coming to the globoside uh, globoside is basically ceramide plus an oligosaccharide okay pretty basic not much to know about this 
saccharide okay they are not n and the last part that is gangliosyde it is ceramide plus oligosaccharide which has something called sialic acid or n acetyl neuraminic acid okay it is a type of sialic acid so also known as nana i think you have heard this word in some books this is written right so sialic acid or n acetyl neuraminic acid so this three this is the feature or property of gangliosyde okay and this is as i already told gm1 is present and gm3 is also present gm3 is the most like simplest form not the common it's most the simplest right and let's see it is composed of a ceramide unit plus a glucose plus a galactose plus a nana glucose and galactose is the oli forms the oligosaccharide part right and also i have already told this act as the receptor for cholerotoxin or cholerotoxin so thank you for watching hope you like the video and again if uh, there are any mistakes let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you